Dr. Maxwell Maltz discovered that it takes 21 days for a habit to form. No matter how fast you want results to come, your brain will not cooperate. Don't resist the tides. Instead, learn to love the process. Welcome failure and bad days and establish a healthy relationship with change. Sick and tired of your bad habits? Here are 10 healthy behaviors to have. Say hi to your new best friend, the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't learn how to fully cook until I moved out. With affordable fast food joints and restaurants everywhere, we might be tempted to empty our pockets for that daily quick bite on the go. But you're actually hurting your savings in the long run. Yeah, research will be required on your end, and you'll have to budget accordingly when you go grocery shopping. But welcome to adulthood. To make this experience less intimidating, feel free to ask friends and family for recipe ideas, invite them to walk through the store aisles with you, or have cooking sessions together. Who says this has to be a solitary activity? Get your body m -m moving. Work it, baby, work it. Grab your sneakers, headphones, and gym shorts. The busier our lives become, the more we'll use excuses like, Ain't nobody got time for that. But let's be real. If you have time to scroll endlessly through your Instagram, then you have time to go for a jog. Even if it's as little as carving out 20 minutes a day to go on a walk, exercise plays a big impact on your physical and mental health. Stay hydrated. Got H2O? Swap those fizzy drinks for a fruit smoothie or green tea instead. I used to find water bland, boring, and tasteless. But here's a chance to be creative. Shake it up with some cucumber or fruit slices. This will give you more vitamins your skin and body will be thankful for. If it helps, invest in a cute water bottle or mug to encourage you to stay hydrated. Just some food for thought. Set a consistent bedtime schedule. Raise your hand if you're guilty of binge watching videos before the Z's kick in. It might seem harmless when you're just laying in bed, but looking at your smartphone at night can suppress melatonin, a hormone that regulates your sleep cycle. Not to mention, this suppression can increase your risk of getting cancer. We're not trying to scare you, but yeah, the side effects are real. Indulge in a healthier sleep lifestyle, be consistent about it, and wake up at the same time every day. But if you must use your phone, make sure to put your phone on night mode to block out the harmful blue light. Map and prioritize your goals. Slow and steady wins the race. Create an inspiration board and pin pictures and quotes to it that reflect the lifestyle you're striving for. Take a look at it every day to keep track of your progress. Invest in a planner or a bullet journal, as well if it makes organizing more fun. You might experience setbacks and fail plenty of times before you meet your goals. But the key thing is to adapt a resilient mindset. Declutter. All right, you don't have to go all Marie Kondo when you do this, but establishing a clean home and workspace can do wonders for your mood. It can boost your productivity, make your everyday tasks less stressful, and increase your overall happiness. Do a little bit of cleaning each week and throw away things you no longer want to hold on to anymore. Steven, our lovely editor, prefers to clean up three things before he leaves or enters a room. It's a trick that makes cleaning approachable for him, kind of like the chunking method. And if it sparks your interest, take a look into minimalism. Remember, a clear space means a clear mind. Be hygienic. Be hygienic. <laughs> I promise I'm not a cheerleader, but make sure to show your teeth, hair, and body some love. Seems like common sense, right? But if you're too tired to remove your makeup at the end of the day, or don't floss as frequently as you should, things will slowly build up over time, and this will give you gross results, like zits and cavities. Find beauty in the peculiar. It's easy to take our everyday surroundings for granted. 
Maybe you lived in a cramped up city and find nothing beautiful about it when you have to sit next to a smelly old man on the subway. Or you're sick of all the trees and want to see more architecture. Wherever you are, take a moment to step back and find something you might have missed, like catching the sunrise on the rooftop or raindrops hitting the pavement. You'd be surprised to what we're blind to on a daily basis. Exercise your mind. Physical activity is only half the battle. Make sure to also give your brain some TLC. Some people don't like reading and that's okay. But change your attitude towards learning and recognize that there are alternative ways to gain knowledge. A few ways you can do this is by reading random articles on a topic you're curious about, listening to podcasts on your commutes, or watching educational videos on YouTube. <coughs> Psych to go. <coughs> Practice self-compassion. Haters gon' hate, and that does not exclude yourself. It's easy to pick at our flaws and insecurities after a bad day, but it's not going to get you anywhere. Take a deep breath. Practice some positive mantras like, yes, you can, or you got this. And spend some time with close loved ones who remind you of your true self-worth. You've got the potential. Now you just got to nourish it. <laughs>